Hi guys, in this today tutorial, I'm going to talk about forward and reverse DNA sequences. Uh, we'll learn how to edit and align these forward and reverse sequences uh, for blast analysis. So you can see I have two sequences forward and reverse. And it's important you have AB1 files of the sequencing technology, as you see in my case. Uh, so let's open forward sequence first. So by edit software is open and you can see on the front of screen a uh, chromatogram of forward sequence. So let's zoom out it. So on this page uh, uh, you can you can assess your sequence uh, for contamination and any ambiguous spaces. So let's scroll to the right hand side to see the end of the sequence. So you can see clearly uh, these are not good bases. So I think till this point uh, our sequence is good. So note it. It's important you note uh, the position or basis you want to edit later. So up to 540 or sequence is good. Forward sequence. Five forty basis or correct at the end and then let's see the beginning of the sequence so if you see uh, there are some ambiguous bases M, M, W and again M so Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. So, first, uh, thirty-two bases are not good, uh, as this contains ambiguous bases, and also, uh, I think, up to ten, uh, the waves are also not fine. So, we will delete these bases. Uh, okay. So, let's record it. Thirty-one. Thirty-one bases are not correct at the beginning. So now we have a look on our chromatograph that uh, about our forward sequence, and you see. Uh, especially at the beginning and end, uh, sequences are not good. So, uh, as we have recorded, so let's zoom in. And if you see, there is another file uh, of forward sequence uh, where we can make changes. So, zoom out it. And from mode, uh, select edit option. Now uh, you can make uh, changes in this sequence. So let's go at the end of sequence. So we have recorded the value 540 bases are correct at the end. on this point and now we need to remove uh, delete this section uh, after 540 so go to edit option and select select to end and press delete button so now we have deleted uh, this fragment after 540 basis and then come back to the beginning of sequence and check your data 
that one basis are not correct at the beginning so 30 31 so mark this point and go again again to edit option and select to beginning and press delete button so now we have edited our forward sequence uh, and now go to reverse sequence so let's correct reverse sequence in the same way as we did forward sequence so fifty fifty one reverse sequence fifty one basis or not correct at the beginning Five seventy. Okay. Five seventy. This is more correct. At the end. Now again go to reverse sequence. Uh, zoom in and open second file. Go to mode and select edit option zoom out now look again on your data your record of 570 bases are correct at the end so let's make changes in this file 570 okay so 570 let's mark this position and go to edit again select to end press delete option and come back to beginning of sequence again check your record 51 bases are not correct at the beginning so 51 so mark this point edit again go to select to beginning and press delete button now we have make changes in our forward and reverse sequences uh, we have deleted the ambiguous and contaminated data uh, so after that you need to uh, make, uh, make parallel direction of forward sequence with reverse sequence so for this purpose we need to uh, use reverse complement option to make both sequences in same direction okay so let's select slide and then select sequence name and from keyboard you can press ctrl shift and r button or, or you can go to menu uh, sequence and you can select nucleic acid okay and when you select nucleic acid option uh, you will see reverse complement so click on it now you can see our reverse sequence is converted to reverse complement so after that uh, you need to go to forward sequence here we have forward sequence and just go to the end of sequence and click after the final base like in this way you can see the scroll option and again go to uh, reverse sequence and change the mode to edit and select the beginning of sequence go to edit 
select again select to end and then copy it and again go to forward sequence here and press ctrl v from keyboard to paste it here so you can see we have paste the reverse complement so now you can see we have combined both forward and reverse sequences using few simple steps uh, so again we need to copy this whole sequence and paste it at microsoft for our future record and blast analysis so click on here and go to edit and select to end and then copy it so let's name this sequence align sequence okay again copy this sequence and now let's see uh, the result of this sequence and blast analysis so click on nucleotide blast and paste it here click on blast so now you can see uh, the result of this sequence uh, predicted 10 peniscus tumor protein p53 mrna uh, e value 0, 0.0 uh, percentage identity 100 and again human orf gateway entry vector so our result is fine so this is all about how to edit and combine forward and reverse sequences and bio edit and check it on blast to see uh, the result okay so i hope this video is helpful for you uh, see you in the next video thank you so much